Hi guys, welcome to Simply Blissful Living. I'm Romy and today I'll be sharing some bento box lunch ideas with you guys. All these recipes are vegetarian and can easily be made into vegan options if you'd like. These are easy and healthy recipes that you can make the night before if you'd like and pack your lunch in the morning or you can pre-pack them the night before. So let's get right into the recipes. Let's start with our first bento box idea, which is a grilled vegetable sandwich on ciabatta bread. Here I'm slicing some zucchinis, bell peppers. I'm going to slice some eggplants, red onion, and some shiitake mushrooms. You're welcome to use any vegetables of your choice. These are just my favorite vegetables for a sandwich. Next, I'm going to start off with the marinade for the grilled vegetables. Here I'm starting with a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar. We're going to add a teaspoon of olive oil, really good quality olive oil. And then I'm going to add some spices. You can use any herbs or spices that you'd like. I'm using one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and half a teaspoon of onion powder along with some paprika. I'm also going to add some salt and pepper to taste. Once you have all these ingredients in the bowl, go ahead and give it a good stir and that's ready for the vegetables. Now we're going to cook the vegetables in this marinade. I went ahead and brushed it on the vegetables, but you can easily just toss all of this in a bowl. We're now going to take a pan and place it on high heat. I have brushed the pan with some coconut oil and I'm going to grill the vegetables. You can easily grill these vegetables outside on a grill as well. Once all the vegetables are roasted, we're going to take a ciabatta roll and I went ahead and grilled the ciabatta roll on the pan as well. And then I added some hummus to both sides. Then I piled on all the grilled vegetables and your sandwich is ready. To pack the lunch, I went ahead and added the sandwiches to the bento box along with one boiled egg that I cut in half. I also added some mango chunks that I had just sliced, they're fresh mango chunks, along with some grape tomatoes and some carrot slices. Our next recipe is going to be a caprese pasta salad and for that I am boiling some uh, fusilli pasta. You can use any pasta of your choice. I'm also chopping up some uh, grape tomatoes. I'm just slicing them in half and then I will chop some mozzarella cheese. Uh, you can use those little balls of mozzarella cheese or any um, any type of mozzarella cheese. Uh, you just want to use fresh mozzarella cheese for this recipe and that seems to work the best. Once you have all your items prepared, we're going to take one cup of the cooked pasta along with the mozzarella cheese and the tomatoes. I actually ended up adding some heirloom tomatoes to this because I had a bunch of heirloom tomatoes that I had bought from the farmer's market. We're going to give that a stir and then we're going to add some balsamic vinegar, some Italian seasoning and olive oil. This is a very simple recipe and it's actually best prepared the night before because it gives the chance of all the flavors to kind of come together. So this is perfect for any day that you want to pre-prepare your lunch for the next morning. Once you have everything in the bowl, go ahead and season it with some salt and pepper and then give this a quick stir. You can put it in your bento box or put it in a separate container and just stick it in the fridge overnight. You can also prepare this the morning of. It is very easy to throw together and by lunchtime it should be ready to eat. We're going to start off the bento box with the pasta salad and I'm going to add a half a cup of chopped cucumbers, some uh, tangerine slices and some nuts on the side. For our third bento box lunch idea, we're going to start with one cup of cooked rice, half a cup of canned chickpeas or garbanzo beans, half a cup of green beans or french beans, and then some herbs and spices. I'm using garlic, ginger, uh, raisins to taste if you'd like you can always omit this this is optional and then for the spices i'm using turmeric garam masala and some paprika 
So we're going to start with our pan on medium to medium high heat. I added some coconut oil. All together I ended up using about a tablespoon of coconut oil. You're welcome to use any oil of your choice. I will then add about three cloves of garlic that I've minced and then half an inch of ginger that I minced as well. And I'm just going to saute that very quickly. Once the garlic and the ginger sauteed for about 10 seconds, I'm going to add the chickpeas. I'm using canned chickpeas, organic, no salt added. If you're using dry chickpeas, please make sure you boil them ahead of time. And then I'm adding my beans here. I'm using yard long beans. You're welcome to use any other bean or vegetable of your choice. I also added the raisins. This recipe is just fine without the raisins, so it is total optional. And then I added the cooked rice. I'm using basmati rice that I had from the night before. I'm going to saute the whole thing. And then I'm going to add my spices. I ended up using a quarter teaspoon of garam masala, half a teaspoon of turmeric, and then chili powder or paprika to taste. I topped it off with some cilantro and some salt and pepper, and then sauteed the whole thing for about three to four minutes. As a side dish, I went ahead and made a yogurt sauce. I'm starting with half a cup of plain yogurt. You can use Greek yogurt here as well. With a quarter cup of cucumber chunks or slices, a quarter teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of ground cumin seeds, and then salt and pepper to taste. I also topped it off with some cilantro and then gave it a quick mix. To pack the bento box, I went ahead and started with the curried rice along with the yogurt sauce on the side that I packed using a silicone cupcake mold. Um, I also packed some vegetables. Uh, I used some broccoli florets, some sliced bell peppers, grape tomatoes. You're welcome to use any vegetables of your choice. Carrots or cucumber slices would be great with this as well. And for a sweet treat, I added some uh, dried figs. I added about three dried figs. I also decided to add some hummus for my veggies. I added about a couple of tablespoons of a roasted red pepper hummus topped with some paprika. So that was all three of the bento box ideas. We have roasted veggie sandwich, a pasta salad, and a nutritious curried rice with chickpeas. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please comment down below and let me know what you liked or which idea was your favorite. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please comment down below as well. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you like the content on my channel, please hit the subscribe button down below. I would also appreciate any feedback on the channel and what kind of content you'd like to see in the future. Thank you and I will see you in the next video. Bye!